Good morning everybody, it's me again Crazy Bag Lady, I hope you're all well. So I'm still here, I'm still surviving. Um, I'm hoping to get a little bit better, I've been like this for nearly a week, it's not nice. Um, anyway, so it's Saturday morning, I'm just having another cup of tea, I think this is my third cup of tea of the morning. Plenty of tea keeps you going, doesn't it? So, not sure what's happening today, Winnie has got to go back to the vets, but I'm not sure if I'm up to taking her or whether my husband's just going to take her with Ruby. So, um, so we'll see how little Winnie gets on, bless her. So, the sun is out, which is always a good thing, it makes you feel better. So, I hope you're all well, my dears. Right, as you all know, I cleaned my bathroom yesterday, made it all nice and sparkly and clean. So I moved my toothbrush pot and my husband doesn't like change at all. Right. So in, um, what's the word? I can't think what the word is, but to show that he doesn't like change, look where he's put his toothbrush. <laughs> It made me laugh so much when I came in here this morning. It was like, there's just a random toothbrush on the side of the bath where the toothbrush pot used to be. <laughs> He's such a rebel, isn't he? So I'm going to put the, the toothbrush back in the toothbrush pot. But it just made me laugh so much that men, they don't like change, do they? And to prove a point, he had to put it there. <laughs> here we go again. Oh dear, my voice. I bet you're sick of listening to me all croaky. My voice is not the best. I'm normally really, really squeaky. Um, and a lot of, well, I've even had some people say that I make out that I'm really squeaky. And I'm really not. My natural voice is very squeaky. But obviously when I've got a bad throat, I'm definitely not squeaky. Right, so I've just done Winnie's drops. You're a good girl, aren't you, my darling? But you're good because you know that you get a treat. A good girl. Well done. Oh, do you want a treat as well, Florence? <laughs> you heard the packet, didn't you? Did you hear the packet? Oh, you can wag your tail. Right, there you go, Winnie. Florence. Enjoy it, my darlings. Right, we might as well do the advent calendar as well. So I didn't do yesterday's. Um, don't stand with your bum in the camera. <laughs> So let's have a look. So we've got number three, which is yesterday. Does it smell nice? It does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Right, are you ready? Mm, yeah. Okay. There you go, Florence. There you go, Winifred. <laughs> is that nice? There you go, Florence. Right, so then we want number four. Where's number four? Um, I can't see number four. Why are my pink calendars so hard? Uh, oh, there. Oh, it's a long one. Right, are you ready, ladies? Are you ready? Ooh. That makes you jump onto that popping noise. Right, ready? <laughs> Not nice. Yeah, nice. You love it, don't you? Yeah. Right, in Florence. Come on, we need that away. Ooh, get in Florence. <laughs> Happy Advent, everyone. There's no more. I'm not sure where the cat is, Miss Lily, so I'm going to go and see if I can find her. So I've got her little treats as well. So, she's outside. So I'm going to run on the bench. You all right? like them don't you yeah nice oh yeah <laughs> bless her oh winnie lives in hope that there might be more there's no more till tomorrow lily liked hers as well you've you've eaten them all so now we need to go and hunt a washing i have a feeling there's a lot of washing kicking about so let's go find them dirty school uniforms and dirty work clothes oh look at the view I love this view. I don't think I will ever tire of it for as long as I live here. So lovely. It's funny, isn't it? Sometimes we've looked out here and it's been absolutely boiling hot. And then other times it's been snowing and wintry. And oh, it's just so nice. Anyway, back with the washing. You've got to love teenage bedrooms, haven't you? Why is there a bottle of tomato ketchup on the bed? I have no idea. Oh dear. I think that's a bit better. Oh, you've got to love teenagers. 
Right, we found plenty of washing. So the washing is in and I've also added some of this in with it as well. Determined to get rid of these germs. Oh. So I've got a little bit addicted to my knitting. God, I sound so old. <laughs> I feel like an old grandma. Anyway, so this is what I've done so far. I absolutely love it. So this wool came from the charity shop. So obviously I've got no chance of getting another ball of it the same. I really, really wish that I had because this is the nicest shade of grey ever. It's so thick and I love it so much. Um, but I'm trying to make it into a scarf and obviously that's not big enough for a scarf. I've kind of gone too wide with it. So it's going to be quite a wide scarf, but I like that anyway. So I've got another bit of wool here that I got from the shop as well. Uh, which again I don't think is going to be enough to make this ginormous scarf so I've been looking on the internet to try and buy some more wool it's mind-blowing <laughs> there's so much to choose from and obviously I don't know what this was I don't know if it's real wool or not but it feels like real wool it's really warm so I don't know what I'm supposed to order and I don't know how many balls of wool I need <laughs> it's really confusing does anybody know how many balls of wool you need to knit a scarf that's really wide i've googled it and some people say like three some people say six it depends on the weight of the ball of wool and stuff it's very confusing anyway so if anyone knows please tell me right i've been dragged out in the car so we're on our way to take winnie to the vets i really didn't feel up to come in but apparently i need to come so we're on route to the vets Wait for this to start vibrating. We're home. So I ended up having to take her in on my own because you're only allowed one person in there. So I pulled the short straw. So me and Miss Winifred went in together, didn't we, darling? You were very well behaved, very squirmy, but very well behaved. Um, so we fixed the ulcer, the ulcer has healed. So we've got to carry on with the dye, uh, not the dye, we've got to carry on with the drops till the bottle runs out. And then we've got to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't come back because she could have an eyelash problem that irritates the eye, makes ulcers develop. Um, so we've just got to keep an eye on her, bless her. So we've got to carry on with the drops for now and then just keep an eye on her. But she was so well behaved, they had to put dye in her eye again to check whether ulcer uh, was or wasn't and it was gone. So very, very, very good news for little Winnie Fred. Right, I've rustled myself up some dinner. So for dinner today, I've got some Heinz tomato soup, some lettuce, tomatoes, a little tiny bit of leftover chicken, some little cracker things from Tesco. I really like these and they're quite low in points on Weight Watchers. I love them so much. really like them in my dinner. So off to enjoy my dinner. You okay there, darling? How's your eye? How's your eye? You okay? Love you. Right, off to enjoy my dinner. Oh, what a miserable, miserable afternoon. It's pouring with rain and it's so cold outside. So, I've had my PCR test back. It was negative, so I haven't got coronavirus. Touch wood. Oh, I don't want it. But I, I knew it would be negative anyway because James and Ruby's tests were negative, so that's a bit of good news. So we know it's just like a horrible virus that I've got. So I'm okay to kind of go out now if I need to. So my hubby this afternoon is gonna take me to go and get some wool. <laughs> <laughs> so I can carry on doing a bit of knitting. I'm so addicted to this knitting, it's really therapeutic. And you've had your drops again, haven't you? Hey, good girl, well done. It's not nice having all these drops in your eyes, is it? Do you feel sorry for our friends? Sad, isn't it? But we've made you better. So, we've made it into the car. As you can hear, it's absolutely pouring with rain. <laughs> it's so horrible. But anyway, needs must so we're on our way to a shop where my mum's recommended that she said i should be able to get some wool from so bag of the day feels like forever since i've been out and took a handbag with me so bag of the day is my lovely mulberry handbag i absolutely love this bag so much it's absolutely beautiful i love it it's just i just love the croc and it's just so nice i love it it's one of my favorite bags anyway let's go on our wool
to get Ruby some sweets. These look nice. Yeah, what about these? I think you've got all sorts in there. What? Cinema mix. Come to an antique place. Hair dryer thing. Is that a door stop? I be. Yeah. Oh, God. Why is it? shopping done my husband's conned me because now i've got to drive a car home well i've got to drive his car home he's picked a car up so he's tied me into a little job a little monkey right let's go home i'm home so it's about four o'clock time for a nice cup of coffee and i'm gonna open no not chocolate bars. i'm gonna open my advent calendar day four's advent calendar haul so we've got another lindo little ball and we've got some lovely bubble bath, which I'm sure will smell absolutely wonderful. So I got some wool. So I went wool crazy. <laughs> um, so this is the thickest one I could find, but they'd only got it in this colour. Um, this is a similar sort of colour, but again, it's still not as fat as the one that I've just finished using. Um, so this scarf, just I'm just going to make a scarf out of a mixture of colours. And because it's my first one, we'll just see how it turns out. But how adorable is this colour? I love this like neutrally sort of colour. It's just so nice. Hmm. I think you could say it's raining. Can you hear it? Ugh, what a night. And my poor hubby's had to go out. Um, it's took my elderly neighbour to get her COVID booster jab. And her appointment was like five o'clock. I fancy having to take an old lady out in this. It's awful. Even though my lanterns are still working. Can you believe that? They're solar lanterns. Look at them flashing. They're so cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so my poor hobby's gone out in this to do his good deed of the day. Oh, look at my flowers from Victoria. They're so lovely. So I just wanted to say as well, thank you so much for all your well wishes. It's just so adorable. I've read loads of them and it's just so, so kind. Obviously, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, but I never really think anybody really does watch me. So I, most of the time, I just think I'm talking to myself. And I've laughed about this with some of my friends <coughs> that <coughs> I don't, excuse me, I don't ever sort of really believe that people do watch, even though I know they do. And I think that's how you get around it. You just think, oh, you just, it's just like talking to yourself. <laughs> so to know that everybody really does care is just so, so sweet. So thank you so much. I wish I could send everybody a Christmas card. Obviously it would cost us a fortune, so I can't, but just big hugs to everybody. And thank you so much. It's just so sweet. So obviously my channel is only tiny and I wouldn't want a massive YouTube channel because you lose the personal touch, don't you, where you can reply to everybody and 
you know, just be nice to people. And it's just such a lovely little community that we've got going. And it's just so nice. So thank you to everybody for all your lovely well wishes. It means so much. The tea is underway. So tea tonight, we're having salmon, um, little light slim world style chips and peas. So I'm just waiting for my chips to get going and then I can pop my salmon Ooh, in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. So I've got some little slim world chips that I've made, salmon, peas, bit of low-fat mayonnaise, and of course, my friends are here. So off to enjoy my oh, tea. My tea was delicious. And now, feeding time at the zoo again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's happening. The Christmas stuff is coming out of the attic. Oh, it's a nightmare. Yes, it is. Well, that was hard work getting all that out. I'm so hot. <laughs> that was hard work. So it is. I'm going to love you and leave you because I'm losing my voice again. Um, so if you do enjoy just a bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Don't forget my little website is down below and my little Avon shop is also down below. So I love you and leave you. I'll speak to you tomorrow. And don't forget to enter my giveaway. If you've not entered already, the link to the giveaway is also down below. So we'll love you and leave you. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.